Vlogger, welcome back to another video. And so today's video, I'm going to be giving you some friends to lovers at book recommendations. Okay, so the first book is Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. So this book, this book was a five star read for me. It was so good. And after I read it, I actually had to make a video of like a kind of like a rant video, more alike. And because I just felt like I had to talk about it. So this book is a childhood friends to lovers book and those are that's like one of my favourite kind of friends to lovers is when like they've known each other from like childhood basically. So what this book is about is is about Macy and Ma Macy's mother passed away when she was younger and so she's been struggling with that and her dad decides to buy a lake house as kind of like a little getaway place for them. On the first day that at the lake house when she walks into her bedroom she finds a boy sitting on the floor reading a book and this boy basically explains to her that that he sits on the floor to read because his house is too loud and obviously he can't read there and that is when macy tells him that she loves to read too and that is basically where they kind of become well it's where they become best friends and they make a little library in the closet and since they met they hung out every weekend whenever Macy went to the lake house and they have like known each other obviously since elementary school. So this book is in the past and present perspective so that is the past that I just explained and then in the present perspective Macy runs into uh, the boy that she was best friends with when she was younger in a coffee shop and they haven't spoken for years like they wasn't on speaking terms and this boy is basically saying to her like I wish you can we at least be friends and that's where they kind of like start to rekindle their friendship but it ends up turning into something more and obviously throughout the book you're trying to figure out like why they like lost their friendship what happened and you're trying to figure out all of that so like i said this is such a good book it's very attention grabbing you read it quite quickly i read it in one sitting it was amazing and i highly recommend the next book is you and me on vacation so this book is about two friends that are in college so they're college friends and they go on vacation every summer once a year they have been platonic best friends and they are opposites attract like definitely opposite he is kind of like uptight and then she is very spontaneous this is also another past to present perspective so it flashes to them being in college, being best friends, going on these uh, vacations together and then it f flashes to the present time where they have had a falling out, they no longer go on these vacations anymore and you are trying to figure out like what happened, why aren't they going on like these vacations anymore? And then they end up reuniting because the boy's brother is getting married and the girl in the book is obviously invited to this wedding. And so they end up having to reunite at the wedding. And then that is when our female main character uh, says to our male main character, do you want to go on a vacation with me? And so they end up going on a vacation together as kind of like a reunion trip. So yeah, I highly recommend this book. Uh... It was, it was very interesting, I loved it, and I always say in my, like, videos, personally, Emily, Henry, Emily Henry's books aren't for me, but this is a, an exception, like, this one I really enjoyed, and this is the only Emily, uh, Emily Henry book I highly recommend. Okay, the next book I highly recommend is Don't Kiss the Bride by Karen Cole. So this book was a five-star read for me, I read it in one sitting, and it is quite a chunky book, but... It's so good, so attention grabbing. So, so this book is an age gap, marriage com of convenience, and also a slow burn friends to lovers. So, if you love the slow burn kind of romances, this book is definitely for you. Like I said, it's quite a chunky book, so it kind of gives it away. So, this book is about our heroine, and she has some like eating troubles, like uh, that are really bad, and she, and so she needs like a lot of uh, medical help. But her mother, who, by the way, is not a good person, uh, doesn't have medical insurance. So, obviously, um, our heroine can't get the help that she needs. So, our heroine needs help with her car. And our hero is actually a construction. And he works near her um, high school. She's a senior in high school. And so, they end up running into each other. And they end up striking up a friendship. 
He then realises that she has some uh, serious issues that she needs help with and so he decides to propose marriage to help her out. So then she ends up moving in with him because obviously she doesn't have a very good home situation and so he's like, move in with me until you can like basically figure things out for yourself with like the home situation. And obviously like with her living with him, um, they have a good friendship but then eventually things start to turn into more and it's such a good romance a very good slow burn like you don't even feel the slow burn that much because you are still like intrigued with everything else it's it's amazing i love it the next book i recommend is hook line and sinker so this is about Fox and Hannah. Now there's actually a first book which is It Happened One Summer where you actually do see a bit of Fox and Hannah and how their like friendship began. So you do see some of that. You can read just this one or you can just read It Happened One Summer but I highly recommend that you read both because you do see some of Fox and Hannah in It Happened One Summer as well and you kind of see that that's where their friendship begins. So in this book um hannah has to go back to la and so while she's in la fox and hannah like message every single day they have such a good friendship but then hannah ends up going back to washington for a work project and so while she's there she ends up staying with fox in his place and they like they feel the attraction to each other but they don't want to ruin like the friendship and they feel like they should just stay friends they don't really like discuss it um fox has also got his own issues where he is like known as like an f boy as they call him so yeah he's uh, having like the issues where he doesn't want to be known like that but he is and so that's one of the reasons why he won't you know admit his feelings for hannah but eventually things do turn into more because they just cannot resist each other and it's amazing love this book so much and i do really highly recommend this like so good love it and the last book i'm going to recommend in this video is the truth about heartbreak so this is about a heroine and she has been in the foster system pretty much her whole life and she actually ends up getting adopted and so she is moving in with her new family and she meets her like adopted brother obviously but then she also meets his best friend and that is going to be a hero so because our heroine, heroine was in the foster system because her you know family was abusive and now she's like you know gone in with like a new family she finds she starts to find comfort in her adopted brother's best friend and they kind of like you know get close but he is more of like you know the older brother figure even though she's always had a crush on him that's the way he acts that's the way he you know he acts like another brother to her basically and then they don't talk for years and then they don't talk for years and they're adults and they end up reconnecting but our hero is engaged and obviously like this is going to be an issue because our hero and our heroine still have this connection and they are finding it hard to fight it and now in this book that is the miscommunication trope which i know isn't a big fan for everyone even me that is one thing that really annoyed me in this book but you can look past it eventually uh because when you get to the end and once you start to see like the connection then not being able to ignore the connection anymore and like all the issues and everything it's so good and obviously i recommend it so those are all the books that i recommend that with the friends to lovers tribe i really hope you enjoyed if you do please like and subscribe if you want it's free and hope to in my next video bye <laughs>